Need to get the tent set up, it's getting dark and the location we are staying at tonight is Lubit Lodge not far from Kinloch Leven and it's got a bit of a reputation as being one of the most haunted buildings in Scotland supposedly and there is stories about poltergeist activity and things like that but I've always quite fancied camping here so today I'm out with Murray who has the channel Scotland's Mountains and yes the two of us are going to spend the evening here now we parked at the Grey Mares Trail car park and then headed up and yeah the route was very very steep and not recommended honestly I thought I was going to die there's actually another way round which is a proper Land Rover track that skirts round the section we done that's the way to come in here to be honest and even the track coming in here was interesting at times but I'm going to get this tent set up and it's actually the Terra Nova Laser AS which I've got hold of to try out and I'm going to see what it's like tonight Murray's got his usual Scarp 1 so let's get the tents up uh, before it gets much darker and I have had nothing but problems with the camera to be honest uh, batteries and also I couldn't get the audio Bluetooth connection it keeps just dropping out weird, really weird matter of fact one of Murray's cameras the battery just died as well so there you go some spooky stuff going on but the main thing was I wanted to share this tent I'll give you my thoughts on it tomorrow and I'm going to use it a few times just to get a feel for it but what I will say is that it's really big for one person as in there's loads of interior space I was actually quite surprised when I put it up how big it is and there's lots of space for all your kit now there is many reviews of this out already and as I said earlier they seem to be get the tent seems to get quite rave reviews so we'll see how it performs tonight another thing I'm trying out is this sleeping mat from Light Tour now this is about half the price of some of the more expensive sleeping mats it's from a company called uh, Collins Outdoors and this Light Tour mat is meant to be rated down to or it has an R value of 5.8 mm -hmm. we'll find out tonight my only concern with it is that it's not particularly thick I think it's only maybe 7 centimeters, and even at that I would say it's maybe less than that to be honest but we'll see how we get on with it tonight again it's another one of these products that quite a lot of YouTubers have reviewed but I'm going to try it tonight and they'll give you my honest opinion in the morning especially in comparison to other mats such as you know my Sea to Summit and Big Agnes if it does work great that'll be fantastic because it is a lot cheaper than some of the mats out there at the moment I mean at the end of the day it's just a bloody lilo you know you could actually get some inflatable canoes cheaper than some of these mats at the moment so we'll see how that goes I have had my supper chicken korma with rice and I'm just washing it down with a, a coffee and then me and Murray are going to have a bit of a chin wag and I've also brought some more rum some rum and honey so have a bit of a, a blether and yeah he's taking some photographs here matter of fact let's go and have a look inside this building it must have been one hell of a thing to build back in the day now if anything does jump out at me my arse will collapse <laughs> You know, the old fireplaces. 
I take it that's my even been the kitchen. The big fireplace. That was like the maybe the front door. I don't know what this corrugated iron's all about. I wonder if somebody's you know, had a fire on the go, maybe. Or if it's just, you know, just spare sheets. Oof, you hear the wind? There's a few big trees just at the side of the, the lodge there. That's ruined. My god, it's cold. Yeah, it's just an old. Yeah, just a shell now of this old building. And we have loused the rum and whiskey. Fantastic. The two of us have been just sitting here chewing the cud. Been really good to meet up with uh, Murray again. It's been a long time actually. And it's always good to go out for a bit of a camp with them, a bit of a blether. And what a place to go. As I said earlier, I've always wanted to come here for a camp and I'm really, really uh, glad we did. It makes a change, something a little bit different. And we'll see what happens during the night. But I think we're just going to finish off this uh, fire log. <laughs> 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 Oh ah, dear me. I think we'll finish off the yeah, the fire log and we'll be calling it a night. God, I think it must be late now, surely. What is it? 9.30? Is that all? I don't know. It is. Night nine forty. It feels about I don't know, it feels about eleven o'clock or something. Yeah. Been a long day. Been a long day. And my route up was horrific. <laughs> That's one of the worst routes I have ever picked. Coming up from Kinloch leaving with the bikes and pushing them up that hill or up that, you know, I don't know what it was, it was just an absolute, I'll agree. it was a disaster. <laughs> yeah, never again. Don't go that way. God, what an arse. It's just gone past 11 o'clock and I'm glad to be in the tent. You might actually see my breath. It's Baltic out there. Matter of fact, there's uh, snow blowing through now and the wind's actually picked up but this tent so far for the short time I have had it or been in it I'm quite impressed I like the inner there's lots of space for your gear and there is no issues with the inner touching the sleeping bag lots of space it's very like Murray's uh, scarp in some aspects. Now, the vestibule isn't particularly big, but it's ample enough for me to get my pannier bags in and my small rucksack <clears throat> and cooking stuff. Yeah, liking it so far, but there are a few, yeah, a few issues with it in regards to how it is set up, in particular the fly sheet and inner at the at the corner ends where it's just bungee cord. I'm not sure on that. I think that needs to be some form of line lock. To be honest, I might actually modify it. I don't know. I might try it. I'll see. But on the whole, I like the space it has. Uh, for the weight and the fact as well you could in bad weather double pole it with uh, yeah, two poles over the middle arch rather than just one so there's a few things I do yeah I do like and a few things I'm not sure about yet but I'm going to try the tent on a few more trips and then give you my opinion It's about 8 o'clock, 
And a matter of fact, I had to borrow water from, or hot water from uh, Murray. I'd actually run out of mess. I forgot to top up my bottle of, uh, you know, for the alcohol stove from my last trip to Glen Tilt. So it was a good job that Murray was here. And what a morning. I don't know if you can hear the stags there, roaring. Yeah, a light dusting on the tops. As I expected last night, you could actually see snow blowing through. And a lovely sunrise over to the side here, down the glen. And slept fantastic. I was quite surprised with this mat I was trying out. And this new mat. Yeah, it was actually very warm. I'm not sure how low... I would really trust it. I'm going to have to do a bit more testing with that. But I was certainly comfortable enough. Uh, with it not being particularly thick, I was a bit concerned. But I'm, I've got a feeling that maybe the amount of like dimples in it, in the surface, yeah, it makes it really, really comfortable to sleep on. I was quite surprised. So I need to, yeah, do a little bit more testing with it. But so far, I'm impressed. Maybe not for the depths of winter yet, but certainly for this time of year going into autumn, certainly through summer, be fantastic. The tent as well stood up great to the winds last night and inside a very damp coating of, or a misting of uh, condensation on the inner, to be expected. The ground's sodden, you know, it's just, you're going to get condensation. But it wasn't dripping on the inside, like some tents I've had. It was just like a very fine coating. Uh, so, so far, enjoying the tent. I like the space on the inner. Porch may be a bit of a, an issue because it's not particularly deep. But it's the full length here. And it's just like a big rectangle. I can get my panniers in here. And I had my little rucksack, as I said before. So it's not too bad. I would do some modifications to it. These kind of shock corded corner points, I'm not sure on them to be honest. I think I would have rather had an adjustable guy point to tension that all out. There must have been a reason why they've done it. I don't know why, but I don't understand their logic for it. But it's certainly, yeah, certainly done the job last night. So, we'll take this out again, we'll take the mat out again a few, t a few more times and just see how we get on with it. But, oh, mine's looking lovely. I'm hoping the camera can see that. I'm getting a nice little bit of colour in the clouds and on the tops. What a spot this is. It might be an old building with a bit of spooky history and, yeah, take that all with a pinch of salt. I slept last night right through, no problem, no, uh, yeah, nothing to report that was uh, particularly, yeah, of interest, apart from, yeah, just snoring. No bangs in the night, nothing like that. It's quite an atmospheric place as well, isn't it? Because it is. you are in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, we looked at that last night on the map, didn't you? With a, uh, if you look at our position and really all the Maybe yeah, there's just nothing. It's a remote location. Yeah. It obviously wasn't at one point because the house was there, but there's oh, also this, yeah. I don't know. This looks like an old... Yeah, I was looking at this, it looks like that might have been an original kind of house because it's for a barn. It has quite substantial walls. They're quite thick, maybe, you know, three feet thick. So I think that might have been like an original, you know, landowner's kind of building. I don't know. Yeah, original and then, yes, and then uh, the Glen, and then obviously that got built. This uh, structure. I keep getting drawn to the corner chimney here, where you have still got the can get a small section of the roof with the yeah. tiles on it. What have you thought of our bike packing adventure? I am a little trip. Yeah, it's been great. I mean, um, it's been really good. It was a great. Yeah. It was your suggestion. This, this whole thing was raised mm. suggestion to come here now. When you first asked me, I was a bit scared, and I was like, I'm not going there by myself. But I'm not going Everybody there. has that, yeah, that, that thing about not coming here because of the stories and the ghost stories. 
That's all they are, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a load of tosh. It really is. I can, I can only find one story, and it's that famous one on on yeah, I can't yeah. find any other recollections of or anything about it. Yeah, or anything happening. Yeah. Is it, saying that, I suppose if you come here on your own, you know, if you're backpacking and you turned up here and it was blown a hoolie and it was all misty and you're on your own and yeah, it'd be creepy, I suppose. Eh? Did you hear those stags last night roaring through? They were yeah, loud. Stags were loud as well. So again, if you're not used to the outdoors, you know, noises like that, it'd put the wind up you. Yeah. That was like that story that um, the farmer told me about. They found they came across the boys soaking wet first thing in the morning and they'd been camping at Glen Shee. Yeah. Didn't know that, 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 that they didn't know that was the sound yeah. of the stags and they just bolted in the night and went through bogs and they. Yeah, they, they were found terrified. Yeah. Morning, yeah. Wow. It's time to get the tents away, I think, in a minute. Well, the rain's on after what was a lovely morning. I think we're going to have to get the waterproofs on and just grin and bear a wet cycle out, possibly. But it was great to try my drone. It's not something I've really used, even in the past. I think the last time I had a drone was maybe six years ago. But technology has really moved on and I fancied getting one again to try. We'll see how that turns out. But yes, what a morning. Oh, what a shame. Okay, I need to get the waterproofs on and let's head out of here. What an amazing view. Wow. Oh, here's Murray coming. <laughs> it was certainly easier coming down than uh, going up yesterday. That's it folks, what a trap and just really looking forward to getting to the co-op round the corner for something to eat and drink. It's been a great adventure, it really has. I've not filmed as much as I would have liked, but as always you get the gist. So me and Murray are heading home and I advise you to check his video when it comes out because he spent hours filming. It's going to be really good. So that's it for this one folks, until next time, take care, I'll see you all again soon.